Hey guys, it's right here, and as the April update comes closer and closer, I, as well as many others, have some decent expectations for the update, as it's been a good three months since the last one. Now, as much as I want a new feature in this update, I think another major aspect the dev team should focus on is fixing the current situation in the game. And one of the biggest problems in Clash Royale right now is the monetization system, making Clash Royale an extremely pay-to-win game where someone who's put in a couple hundred bucks will clearly have an advantage over someone who doesn't. Now, this video was inspired and has many points from a Reddit post covering the same topic. I'll link it in the description for you guys to go check it out. So now, let's briefly go over the major problems in the game. Number 1. Chests and Gems the chest system in Clash Royale is probably the biggest of the three. As you know, on the ladder, oftentimes you're basically stuck to only leveling one deck up or suffer from constantly getting over leveled by your opponents. This causes players to not only get frustrated because they are constantly over leveled on the ladder as soon as they push higher, but they can also get really bored of the game, playing the same deck over and over with no change at all. This chess system overall promotes a pay to win system and is something that I think the dev team should really look at decreasing. Number 2. The Grind Now as with any game, there is a grind aspect to it, but the grind for Clash Royale is just too steep. In addition to that, the grind is also limited to what you ask? The chest unlock timers, the daily victory gold, the card request cooldowns. Again, with the grind in a game being way too tough, it'll only push players away as time goes on, with players getting stale of an ever constant cycle of winning and tilting. I mean, just think about it. You grind in like Clash of Clans for an hour and you can get an unlimited amount of resources. But you grind in Clash Royale? I mean, after four battles, your chest slots get filled up and it'll remain that way for the next three hours. You see where I'm getting at? Number three, challenges. Finally, another problem in this game when it comes to monetization is challenges. First things first, the cost of entering a grand challenge is approximately 1 US dollar or 100 gems. In addition to that, you also have to have leveled your player level up to level 9 and gotten a few entire decks up to a tournament standard level. As a free to play player who's new to the game, you simply cannot attain this in a short amount of time. Now especially with Clash Royale aiming to be a future major esport, an ability to train at a high level should not be so inaccessible. Now let's talk about a new system Clash Royale could put in place to help alleviate these problems. Of course, I'm not talking about a 100% overall of the current system, but a gradual decrease in Clash Royale's paywall as more and more free to play measures are put into place. And the system I'm talking about is a cosmetic system. As many recent games have shown, a cosmetic system of game monetization is a very effective way to maintain a free to play environment. And this is a major area that I think Clash Royale should expand in. Now of course, the Clash team has already made some really big steps in this direction. The introduction of emotes is absolutely amazing, making gameplay so much more fun, different, and fresh. Of course, Supercell, be sure to keep releasing these insane emotes. Now, the major point I want to make here is skins. Again, Supercell has made some progress in this area with gold skins and points, but Supercell can definitely take things a lot bigger and a lot better. I mean, skins on troops are already a possible thing in the game, so obviously the technology is already there. So now, why not just come up with a few more creative skins? Maybe, you know, the gold skins can be obtained through those star points by free to play max level players players, but maybe these special skins can obviously be purchased by money. This would increase a revenue stream for Clash Royale and allow for Clash Royale players to change up their gameplay by, you know, playing some pretty crazy troops. In fact, even Clash of Clans has started introducing hero skins in the last update, so why not also move that to Clash Royale? In addition to that, another thing that you could add skins to in the game is arena towers. We all love skins on troops, so why not add them to towers as well? So there we go, some of the biggest problems in Clash Royale's monetization system and how to improve that for both the dev team as well as the player base. Of course, I understand that the Clash team does need to generate revenue as they're a game as well as a company, and this system that I suggested is a system that will not just do that, but also improve the experience of the entire game. Be sure to let me know your opinions on this topic in the comment section below. But unfortunately guys, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel and as always this is legendary and i'm signing off see you guys next time